we need to take a few minutes and pay tribute to these guys because in their own way, they were both giants. Maybe start with John Short, Gregs, because I know he had a profound impact on you. It really started from listening as a kid, like, you know, many of you guys and many people in the in the Edmonton area. Um, you know what? I remember so many nights driving home from hockey with my brother and my dad. You know, we were always listening to sports talk. You know, I remember calling in on kids night the first time and, you know, running upstairs. At, dad, did you hear it? You know, so it's uh, a lot of real good memories with John. I only got to meet him a couple times after I was playing and I was always it was kind of a thrill. It's like seeing Paul L'Oreal, right? These are the voices. <laughs> yeah. of your youth. And I'm like, oh, my God. I remember saying it's John Short. I got my own show at night somewhat similar to what John Short had. I took a lot of pride in thinking I was, I wasn't even close to good as him, but I, you know, I was thinking I was doing the same job he did. And I, I took it very seriously. When I got the job at CTV and had a chance to meet him, he was so nice and so kind and had time for young broadcasters. It was an absolute thrill. So absolute legend, Robin Brownlee, you know, the news came not so long after and buddy, that one's different, right? 65 years of age. You know, he's, he's got the young family. The thing about Rubes that, that I'll miss the most was like his laugh was pretty funny. He had a good sense of humor. Like he liked to give it, he'll take it. He would laugh at himself. And, you know, like Ruben Bronte is one of my favorite nicknames. I love him calling him Bronte just because somebody <laughs> screwed up his name in Toronto on his accreditation. <laughs> Instead of saying Robin Brown, it was Ruben Bronte. Like it's not even close. So that's what makes it so awesome. This guy was a stickler for grammar. And that is cool. not exactly my strong suit. So yeah. I would I would say something on air or tweet something. This guy'd be on me right away. And he would tell me like, this was, it's not whom or who or there or there or them or then. I talked about Ryan Smith being their first round pick from 1994. And I come walking into practice and I'm young and cocky. And I hear from behind me, hey, hot shot, Jason Bonsignor. <laughs> and I was like, I turn around, I said, what? And he's like, your story last night, Bonsignor went fourth. And he says it loud enough to me that everybody else can hear total, like just put me right in my place. I was like, all right, fair enough.